Hello, welcome to Charter Local Edition Northwest. I'm Dana Kelly and thanks for joining us. Steve Simmons is joining us now. We're so glad you're here. You are a board member with the Richland Public Facilities District representing Correct. the Hanford Reach and you're here to Correct. bring us the latest on the development there. I am. So, um, so everyone probably knows that the, the, this project has been going on for about 10 years. Um, we've, uh, we've had some troubles along the way. Uh, so far we've uh, We've had two ground breakings because there's been two sites selected. Uh, we've raised uh, over $26 million in the, t in the 10 years. Uh, unfortunately, we've spent uh, a little over $15 million. We haven't built a building yet, and it looks like we probably are going to need to go back to a clean sheet of paper and start over. Well, that's a good starting place. You've, there's been a lot of energy in the community to create this interpretive center and to also represent and preserve the historic reach and so maybe you can tell us about how this began and then the the momentum that you built over the 10 years. Well sure, back in 2000 uh, then President Clinton uh, declared 51,000 acres uh, uh, along the Columbia River as the Hanford Reach. Um, the uh, It's the last free-flowing section of the, the Columbia River that exists in the United States. Um, a group of uh, local citizens and um, uh, visionaries, I, I believe visionaries, uh, got together and, and created the vision and the idea of the Hanford Reach Interpretive Center. Yes. The, the idea is to tell, tell all of the stories that, that are related to our area, starting with the, the Ice Age floods, um, you know, the Manhattan Project, the, you know, the support that Hanford gave to the Cold War, um, the agricultural story. We we have a, we have a marvelous agricultural industry here, which is all part of the, which is all part of the story. So, you know, we have we have a unique and interesting history, uh, in the Mid Columbia region, and and our job is to tell that story. And now you've gone out and sought out some new leadership, and so they are they are hitting the ground, making their connections, and building a path to move forward. You know that's correct. Uh, our new CEO Lisa Toomey joined us in uh, January. Uh, I'm the newest board member. I joined in February. Uh, the other four board members, uh, none of them have served longer than two years. So, and so now everybody's kind of gelling. And how is that coming together? You know, it's working real well. We we have a we have a board that's committed to uh, to to delivering something to the citizens of, of Richland and the region. Um, uh, Ms. Toomey has already uh, started our education outreach. Uh, we've so far in the last few months we've touched the lives of 1,500 students. Outstanding. And uh, and we've had great fun doing it. As a matter of fact, so. Oh, good. And you've taken them out on say they've done some photography, gone out and enjoyed the beauty of the reach, and really uh, kind of recorded what's out there to see. Exactly. In fact, we, we see part of our mission as um, as interpreting the reach out in the field. Um, and, and you know, there's there's a fascinating uh, history there. Uh, unfortunately, you know, we've had a lot of thunderstorms lately, and we had to cancel a trip that actually would have visited some of the old homesteads and the old uh, the site of the old uh, city of Hanford. Well, we have had weird weather this yeah, spring, so, so that's I, something you can look forward to on maybe a safer, clearer day yeah, when it's better ab for Absolutely, there there was a lot of interest in that trip, so. Now I know you had some beautiful designs. They're still on your website about what the center would look like. But now you've been some, done some new recent work with uh, Mission Support Alliance. We have uh, Mission Support Alliance and, and Lockheed, um, as part of their gift to us, uh, did some value engineering on, um, you know, how much the the project was 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 actually going to cost us, uh, and we frankly don't have the money for it. Uh, we've we've considered a, a variety of scenarios you know, trying to stay with the original vision and uh, get it built in phases. Um, unfortunately, it just doesn't look like that's possible. Um, there's the, the fundraising has, has slowed to uh, just a crawl um, and we've decided that we need to build with what we have in hand. Uh, so in order to do that, we, we basically have to go back to the drawing board and uh, start a new vision all over again. So. Well, you've got some, your website is outstanding. It's just wonderful to look at that and see some of the designs and the thoughts that are there and I assume that's some of the things you can build on as you move forward. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, there's, uh, there's a lot of people that believe, like myself, that believe that uh, there's uh, wonderful natural beauty 
you know, in our region and in the shrub step habitat. And uh, it, it's all very interesting and it, and it changes so much from, from season to season. And, uh, and if you look at our website, you'll see that uh, a, a lot of that has been captured in the vision of the, of the REACH Interpretive Center. So. How would a new board member coming in, your first um, impression with this, obviously it's something you care about, how would you like this to look when it's done? Um, what do you want? You know, uh, at this point, I, I'm trying to keep a really open mind. Uh, we are looking for the public to, uh, to give us their input. Uh, we want to know what the public thinks. Uh, there's, there's been some controversy about location. There's been some controversy about costs. There's, uh, you know, it was it was an awfully grand vision, 61,000 square foot, you know, 40 foot glass walls. It was it, it was a you know it was a marvelous Beautiful a marvelous design. Week. Oh yeah, it's absolutely. Uh, it's just you know we're just not going to be able to do it that way. So, um, like I said, we're looking for we're looking for public input. Um, we think everything's on the table. Uh, we want to know the public. We want the public to tell us what's important, what's not important, uh, what what. Uh, what our next path forward should be. And then yeah. the board is committed to uh, do whatever it takes over the next five or six weeks to, um, to create a vision, to release it to the public, and to start the process to get it built. Wonderful. So, so how, how are you going to go out and collect the public opinion, and then how is the best way for people to get a hold of you to give their ideas? Um, by email would probably be the best the best way. You go to the website, which is visittheReach.org. Mm -hmm. um, there, there's a place to to put your input there, and uh, like I said, it would be very very welcome. We want to know what people think. So. Fantastic. Now I know there's been discussion about sites. Have you selected a firm site yet, or is that still part of the, the uh, process? Like I said, the the site that is currently that we've currently selected, and which, you know most people seem to really like is is a location in the west part of uh, um, Columbia Park, the, the part of the park that's actually in Richland. There's not a lot of it in Richland, but mm -hmm. there's about a thousand feet that, that is in the city of Richland. And so that's, that's where we've selected uh, to uh, put the interpretive center uh, at this time. Like I said, I, you know, I think everything's on the table, but um, that's our site as of today. And we do have a lease with the Corps of Engineers on that property, so. Very nice. And then you've got fifteen and a half million dollars to work with, and so. Well, actually, we've spent fifteen and a half million dollars. We have about eleven million dollars to work with, um, which sounds like plenty of money to do something with. Uh, part of the problem is, is that some of that money is is um, has very tight constraints on it. Um, there's two point nine million dollars of Department of Transportation money that can only go to road, parking lot, uh, infrastructure, those kinds of things. All right. Uh, we have some fish and wildlife money that can only go to um, exhibits that the picture the flora and fauna, the the bugs and bunnies as we call it. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, those are the educational things that you know oh, bring sure. the Absolutely. people in and bring them coming back and bringing friends. So, so that's nice. So you know, we, we we think that what we can build initially will be uh, something around 10,000 square feet. Um, we don't have a preconceived vision of what that should be, and that's part of the reason that we're that we're seeking public input. Uh, and then we hope to build on that uh, as time goes on. Um, you know, uh, perhaps we can partner with the Department of Energy. Uh, there's, some, there's some early conversations about that. Uh, we, we would like to partner possibly with, uh, with one or two high schools in Richland. That, oh, that's a great idea. Um, you know, so we're, where, we can, where we can teach the science and the, and the, the beauty and stuff that is Hanford and, and the Reach interpret and the and the Hanford Reach. Right, so. because that's your primary mission is to educate. Our yes. mission is so to educate. Wonderful. So and, and to tell the story of the region. So. Excellent. Well Steve, thank you. I really enjoyed talking with you and thank you for bringing oh, us up to date. And it's been my pleasure. Join us. I oh. really appreciate your information and we wish you the best of luck with all this collection of data and we'll look forward to see what you have to present in the future as it all unfolds. Well I appreciate that and hopefully we can come back when we have a new vision. So. All right. Well we'll look forward to that so Great. we can see the drawings and the design and we'll go to, go to the final groundbreaking and watch that all come to fruition. Okay, perfect, right. thank you. Thank you, Steve. Thanks for joining us. This is Charter Local Edition Northwest. I'm Dana Cowley, and we hope you have a wonderful day.